babes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I'm doing a realistic day in the life with a puppy. So as you guys know, I kept back a puppy from Indy's last letter, Miss Ellie. She was orange collar and we have been just getting used to our new routine and schedule having a puppy around the house again. So the first thing I do when I wake up is go ahead and let Miss Ellie out of her kennel. She has been doing so great with crate training. She literally sleeps in her crate from like 10 to 7 every single day. She just has blown me away with her crate training. I guess props to me since I did do crate training with the entire litter um, before they went home. But yes, yeah, so I go ahead and get her out of her crate and then we go ahead and head outside for her first potty break of the day. Once Ellie has used the potty, the next thing we do is feed her her morning breakfast. So we do feed Purina Pro Plan Large Breed Puppy. So that is what I'm getting here. She gets about half the bowl, um, which is about like half of a cup to three fourths of a cup. And then we have been working on her with the place command. So you'll see her now. I tell her to go place and she runs over and literally pounces on top of the place mat and waits for me to give her her breakfast. Ellie is super food motivated, which makes it really easy for training and things like that. So she is just going to munch on down on that kibble. While Ellie eats her breakfast, I'll go ahead and work on letting all the other dogs out. I focus on Ellie first since she is a puppy and her patience is thin. So while she eats, I tend to the rest of the pack. Once Ellie finishes her breakfast, we go back outside again for her second potty break of the day. Raising a puppy means tons of potty breaks, but Ellie is definitely getting the hang of potty training and has been relatively easy. Then I go ahead and let Ellie back in and then she enjoys her morning play sesh with Mama Indy. They literally play so rough, but it's so funny to watch, but also really cool to see Indy and her daughter interact on a daily basis. So recently I have been working from home the past couple of weeks, but I go ahead and make it a point to put Ellie in her kennel for crate time at least during my meeting. So I had a nine o'clock meeting this morning. So I went ahead and put Ellie in her crate for a morning nap. So real quick, I wanted to thank Ultenic for partnering with me on today's video. Ultenic offers a range of smart home appliances. We have their Ultenic T10 robot vacuum and mop with a self-cleaning station. The T10 robot vacuum also comes with its own app. Well, the whole Ultenic has an app and you can add whatever smart device that you buy from them. Um, obviously, we have the T10. So as you can see, I just click on the T10 and then I can go in and see the map of our house, which is super cool. It kind of maps out everything so it can know where to vacuum, where not to vacuum. And then you have the battery cleaning time and the area cleaned. It's also really convenient because you just saw I hit the play button so you can start your robot vacuum from literally anywhere. You do not have to be home. Most of the time we run ours when we're not home or for instance when the dogs are napping because it kind of freaks them out but it's super awesome that you can start this from literally anywhere in case you leave the house and forgot to start it. Here you can see on my app if you can see that little blue dot you can see it literally moving around our house cleaning. 
and here it is doing its job. I love this thing, you guys. It is seriously the best thing I've ever owned. It literally helps me keep my house so much cleaner in between deep cleans. I run it almost every single day to get up all that extra dirt, hair, and debris that the dogs like to track in with having as many dogs as I have. It's really hard to keep the house clean, but if you want to get your very own Ultenic T10 robot vacuum, I'll go ahead and leave a link to shop on Amazon down below as well as a code that will get you an extra $50 off your purchase. I just wanted to say thank you again to Old Tenic for partnering with me on today's video and without further ado, let's get back into it. So after my 9 o'clock meeting was over, I go ahead and get Ellie out of her kennel again and we head back outside for a potty break. Obviously if you've had a puppy, you know once they've been in the crate for any span of time, it's great just to head straight outside to go potty. This gets them in a really good routine and also really helps with that potty training. I know potty training can be difficult, but if you keep a routine and you know make sure your puppy knows what's coming next, it's a lot easier. I also recommend if you're struggling with potty training, setting an alarm on your phone for every 30 minutes and taking your puppy out every single 30 minutes on the dot. And if that's still not working, lower the time down to 15 minutes. It really helps and it keeps you accountable to make sure you're not missing their potty breaks. Once Ellie goes potty, we come back inside and then she has a little bit of a play sesh while I get some work done. Then it is time once again for Ellie to head back into her crate for a lunchtime nap. Like I said, I try to keep her going into the crate at least two to three times a day to really get used to being in her crate. And then before you know it, my meeting is over and it is time for her to come back out, resurface, and head back outside again. I'm telling you guys, this is our routine, you know, come inside, play, crate, outside potty inside play outside play potty crate potty it's just a never-ending routine schedule of crate and nap play real hard and outside and potty that is literally basically my life with a puppy but here we go back outside once again At this point I was on my lunch so I went ahead and let Indy and Jagger out to play with Ellie for a little bit. She loves playing with the bigger dogs. I swear for her size she thinks she's 75 pounds with the attitude she gives them and as hard as she plays with them but it's really fun for us just to go ahead and get outside with everyone and play ball. As you can see here Jagger loves throwing the ball and Ellie just really loves playing with Jagger and Indy. She jumps all over them and bites them and they just kind of take it. It's super fun just to be out here, especially before it gets too cold with the upcoming fall weather. But here you'll see Ellie's kind of trying to scope out what Indy's about to do and then she's literally going to pounce. Look at her. She's so funny. She just pounces on them and yes, yeah, she's super cute and getting her out here to play with the big dogs is really good for her and for me because it tires her out really quickly. Once our play sesh is over, we go ahead and head back inside and I get back to work. Ellie has found that laying underneath my desk right at my feet tends to be her favorite napping spot. Here she is being super duper cute, but yes, she naps and I work. Once I finished with my work day, I went ahead and took Ellie on a little walk. I like to get her outside and away from the other dogs to kind of work on walking and keeping her away from distractions, things like that. For today's treat, I used 
blueberries. Ellie loves blueberries and they're really good for her. So that is what I use today. So I'm just walking her freely, not on a leash or anything like that. We work on those every other day. So we do leash one day and then off leash the other. Just practicing on her recall, her sit stays, walking by me and just teaching her that when she comes to me or she walks with me, she gets rewarded. I do let her freely sniff around on days that it is our, I guess you could call it off leash walks. The main focus of these walks is to just be able to recall her and for her to come to me when called. So that is what we were doing here. I get a lot of people asking me, you know, how I train my puppies or I can post training videos and things like that and that's definitely something I can get into but for the most part, you know, I'm not a professional trainer. I just kind of do what works best for me. Um, a YouTube channel I would recommend is Rachel Fasaro. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. She has some really great puppy training videos but also consistency and just repetition with a puppy is honestly the best way to get them to learn and I also really love to hand feed dinner. You're going to see that right here as we segue into feeding Ellie dinner. So for Ellie's dinner tonight I decided to break it up into two parts. So first I am taking her little puzzle that I have right here. I recommend using puzzles for your dog. They are great mental stimulation. Um, I'll link the one we are using right here down below but first I am putting half of her food in this little puzzle for her to work on and figure out she really enjoys these and like I said they really work her mind and then with the other half I am hand feeding her dinner working on some of her commands so right now some of the commands we are working on is touch as you can see right here we are working on that touch command she has really got it down pat like I was saying I love hand feeding dinner if you're trying to train your puppy I think hand feeding dinner is honestly one of the best ways to do it because they're gonna eat that anyway and you're not giving them a lot of extra you know calories or upsetting their stomach with some sort of treats that can always happen with puppies you know they have sensitive stomachs so I really enjoy hand feeding dinner so we're working on our sit our stay our down and then the touch command here I have also started working on Ellie's leave it command and as you can tell by these videos she's not very good at leaving it but practice makes perfect so that's why we hand feed and work on commands at night. So for the second half of Ellie's dinner I went ahead and gave her her puzzle. I'm working on Ellie's um, like wait while I put her food down before she's released to her dinner. Um, like I said she's a big foodie. She loves food like her mama so she's definitely having a harder time with leaving it until released from the command so I have to pick it off the ground a couple times before she gets it done and does it correctly but we're working on it and I'm sure she'll have it down pat before no time. As you can see in this video she is just using her nose to move the bones in the center and also there's like a sliding feature and a feature that she has to lift up with her nose so she really enjoys this and you can just see her little mind working and I think it's just so fun to watch her do it she's definitely got this one figured out for the most part down pat so I'm definitely gonna have to order a more difficult one for her very soon but she enjoys it and I really enjoy watching her try to figure it all out and watching her little mind work really hard Once Ellie finishes her dinner, she gives me a high five, I give her some pets, and then we head back to our back door to let her out to potty again. We always go out the back door for potty breaks because we do have a fenced-in backyard. So 
So on this particular night, it was actually a Friday night and my husband Matthew coaches high school football. So around 6.30, I went ahead and put Ellie up for the night so I could go to Matt's football game. This was the longest period that she was in the kennel for that night. I believe I got home at around 10.30, so she was up for about four hours. She does great in the crate and she honestly sleeps the entire time. I know a lot of people feel really bad when leaving their puppy in the crate for long periods of times and I don't really recommend them going, you know, eight to 10 hours straight in the kennel at all, but they honestly do sleep a lot of the time because puppies need a lot of sleep. So once I got home, I just went ahead and let Ellie out again to use the bathroom. And then after she used the bathroom, she headed on in and we got some playtime in right before we turned the lights out and went to bed for the night. Lastly, I put Ellie in her crate for the night and then we went to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.